Hey, how's it going guys, Zedai here. So I wanted to share my thoughts on Concord Beta. So I have a PlayStation Plus subscription and just suddenly enough, a little bit of a surprise, PlayStation and you know, Concord team basically on Twitter or X has announced that, well, they are able to and are doing that. So basically, if you have a PlayStation Plus subscription, you can play this game for free and right now. That's awesome. So I've just decided to take this opportunity, you know, just to try it out for myself and, you know, see what I feel about this game. So initially when I started playing it, I booted up the game and uh, by the way, I'm playing on PlayStation 5 obviously since I mentioned PS Plus. Now the thing is the first match I got in and instantly I noticed something was very, very wrong with this game. And I noticed that there was a major delay in the controller. So I started tweaking, started looking into the settings. I even started like thinking, wait, is there something wrong with my controller? No, the game is like this. It's supposed to be played like this. Maybe the developers will tweak some things, but I want to mention. In the way it states now, in the way in the settings that it is right now, and how much the input lag or delay that it got, is unplayable. I'm sorry. But also, there are some good quality things regarding this game. For example, it is pretty. I do think it looks appealing, right? Aesthetically appealing. And also, it's so darn polished. Like seriously, I had not had any bugs or lags or glitches or issues. And on top of that, matchmaking is fantastic. Like I started playing this game on the day and the hour it was available to be played at. And I was like really surprised how polished this game is. Like, wow, incredible job. And then afterwards, like I've been playing it for about 30 to 40 matches, maybe even closer to 50. and. I got kind of got used to this sort of a weird delay, but it's also because I chose a specific character that doesn't necessarily depend too much on aiming down the sides. If you aim down the sides, just man, good luck. Seriously, like on PlayStation 5 is bloody unplayable at that point because this game is definitely made to be played on PC, in my opinion. Because like you cannot, you can't use this aiming on PlayStation 5. Now, sure, you can kind of get used to it, like I already mentioned, I got used to it, but. Also, it's because I started using a specific character, and by the way, every character in here, there are quite a lot of them, and every character have designated weapons and their abilities. They're all different variations, and I played every single one of them, due to that anytime you die, you have a choice or an option to choose a different character that is available in a lot. And that's what I did, I just like tried out every single one of them, and I stuck around with one particular character, I do not remember her name, it's like I didn't give a shit to be honest at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she can use a rocket launcher, right? She has eight shots, and anytime when you're aiming down the sights, you're not really aiming down the sights, you're just kind of activating the homing missile onto the enemy targets. And basically, anytime it activates the homing missiles, the whole thing make, becomes much easier to bear with the controls and the aiming solution that I already mentioned. And that's why I could cope up with actually playing this game to that so much of it, right? Up to 40 to 50 matches. And because of this, that was actually the main reason why I even stuck around for this long. Because also I wanted to share my like my thoughts about this game, you know, you know, just be more realistic about it because I don't want to just play like 5-10 matches and say, okay, I'm good, I'm gonna share my thoughts, since I wanted to have a proper judgment for this game. Now, unfortunately, I have to mention this, this game is extremely unbalanced, like to the point that's just like, whoa, whoa, why is this character so much weaker than this hour? Now, sure, again, like we got a little bit more than, actually, actually more than a month to go until this game does release. But honestly, if I would have to say it right now, would I think about the game if I would pick it up or not? Definitely not. No, this game is 100% not worth, what is it, 40 price, 40 euros, 40 dollars price tag, 50 dollars, whatever it is. I'm sorry, it's not worth it. And I think this game should have been a free to play. Like, honestly, I think I'm gonna say it. I think that First Descendant is better than Concord. I think that ZZZ is better than Concord. And yet, those two games that I mentioned, they are free to play. I don't know. Like, something is off about this game that it's going to get repetitive. Because, unfortunately, the way that the developers chose to make this game is very akin towards what Call of Duty is doing. But yet, they're just... Call, like, they're gonna take 40 bucks and just call it a day for 6v6 matches? That's it? Really? I don't know. This is really, I, I personally believe, unacceptable because this is not enough. You need to have a single player. You need to have a third mode. 
and of course you have a multiplayer already here i just this is just not enough and okay okay sure whatever this is why it's 40 dollars price tag okay give me two modes then in this case don't just give me pvp and modes within it like team deathmatch uh, capture the flag you know domination no no i don't care about that give me another mode that is, i'm talking about a single player mode I want to play PlayStation exclusive games for their single player most because that's what they're best known for and they're the best at. And then I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, wait, was it Firework that actually made this game? And then yet yeah, PlayStation acquired them? And because they saw this game before when it was in the development. And they were so impressed that they had to acquire the studio. I'm just thinking, what were they thinking? I don't know, maybe this is just me being very negative about this. But yet, you know, to some extent, I did had sort of fun with it. But again, this is a game that will be playable for a week, for two weeks, you know, when you pick it up for yourself and experiencing it. You play for a week, you play for two weeks, and then it's a one-time deal and you, you'll be gone. You'll be playing some other things or not playing this game ever again. Because I believe this after a year or two years, this game is gonna, it's just not gonna get any more support. I do believe that after three years, this game is gonna die and the service is gonna be shut down. Seriously, I do not see any future for this game. Now, I'm not trying to be bashful, just saying, oh my god, everything is a problem within this game. Because again, this is just a beta, a lot of things will change, a lot of things will improve. But the problem is here that I'm noticing is not that you can just improve it within a month until it releases. Even if you can make the best possible version, but yet the thing what kind of questions me, what the developers were thinking, is why did they make this and just this? Why not more? And then call it like, I don't know, put on a $70 price tag. I personally would have purchased if this game would have been single player experience instead. Or at least included a single uh, experience, single player experience. But again, it really depends how good that single player experience would have been as well. And maybe if they would have actually added a third person, not a third person, but a third mode as well. For example, like Call of Duty has zombies. And then they could have like put it in a $70 price tag. Now, sure, I know a lot of people will be saying, well, why are you comparing it to Call of Duty? Call of Duty is $70 price tag. But in my opinion, Call of Duty has more to offer than this game. And yeah, I get it. $70 is a lot of money, honestly. And yet this only has one mode. It is the multiplayer 6v6. And it's asking of a $40, whatever. Okay, I'm just dragging this long enough. I can see some people actually maybe getting into this game in some ways. But unfortunately, I see more often, and I definitely see that it's just gonna, like, 98% of people just drop this game as quickly as possible. Now, I do know there's gonna have seasons and stuff, and basically having some sort of a single player, like, cutscenes inside here. As if we have not seen this already from many other multiplayer sorts of games as well. Again, Call of Duty. <laughs> like, this game is so kind of... Destiny-like with Crucible modes and a little bit like old style of Battlefield games and I mean like old style in terms of the controls that it has such a significant and very bad delay and that it was pretty much un like unplayable for me at least like on PlayStation 3 era and stuff and Destiny actually had this issue as well with quite a weird c controls I, I want to say anyway guys maybe I'm just you know being way too harsh and negative about this whole thing well, in my opinion, I will not be picking up this game. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.